eye nana akomia wo si obisa oru ajon dramani mahama se okada so a wode to so afi 2012 na e dia penti ene ma ne ye today he says he will restore okada business well i mean all of us respect the hustle of our brothers in this okada business but it was president mahama who banned Okada business in 2012. Now, he hasn't answered the question why he banned Okada. And what was the problem with Okada? The problem was with the, the nature of the operation. There are laws in this country that govern the use of motorbikes. You should have a license for the bike. You yourself should have a license to ride on a bike. You should have insurance for the bikes. You should obey the traffic rules. You should have a helmet for yourself or anybody else riding on your bike. These are the laws that are there. The Okada people in 2012 were not abiding by these provisions of the law under President Muhammad's watch. So he decided that we will ban them. Instead of making them live by the law, he decided to ban them. Now, when you ban them in 2012, and you were in office in 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, and the Okada were still operating, so even the ban, President Mahama could not enforce it. Now he says that he is going to lift the ban and regulate them. But it was precisely because you could not enforce the regulation, the word of helmets, the licensing of the bikes, the licensing of the drivers. How do you convince us this time that you'll be able to enforce the regulations? When you had power, you couldn't enforce the regulations. And then you banned them because you couldn't enforce the regulations. After banning them, even the ban tour, you couldn't enforce because they, they, they were still operating under our very eyes and under our very noses. So now when you come and say that you are going back to the regulation, we have to ask you the question, so why couldn't you enforce the regulations in 2012? Orua John Dramani Mahama kwa share adishi.